Gets it poked away. He's tracking it down. He gets it in the right uh, left corner. Appling in the lane. Gets away from one man and lays it in with the left hand. A ball out of the net, and they are flying in the other direction. Left corner, Harvey open, three-pointer hits. So the Bayhawks. So here comes Appling across the timeline. Appling put, drives right down the lane, off the glass and in, and he's fouled. So Keith Appling by Davis and stolen by Appling. Appling across the timeline, four on one, gets it to Edgem, and Melvin lays it in. Eight points for Melvin Edgem. 13 points on the night. There's a turnover as Appling comes out of the pack again with it. He's going to pull up from 20 feet, and he hits it. So Keith Appling knocks down the jumper. They've made. We still haven't seen Earl Clark here tonight. Don't know if he's technically on the active roster. Is Appling top of the key. It's an 18-footer. Sideline. To Appling between the circles. Gets a screen from Egwu. Drives down the lane. Left-hand layup, and he puts it in. So Appling, Ungo was with him, and he comes down with the, lay the rebound. Left corner now, Appling. He's going to tee up a jumper, and he hits it. Just a two is a 22-footer, but Appling gets it to go, and he three. In the middle of the lane, Appling from six feet hits. So it's a nine-point game with three starting now again. Here's Appling. He works his way into the lane with a dribble drive, left-hand layup. He puts it in, and his foul. So that's one way to do it. Appling into the right forecourt. Got to start shooting here. Top of the key. 18-footer. Got it. So Appling's got 30 points. That's a bright spot. But they're